up, boys? It is PDS and Rye. We are going over to the new selection box. Konami oh is my Lord, absolutely dude. milking our wallets. But luckily, there's not that much to talk about here. So we're going to try to keep it brief. Uh, so obviously, Archfina Centric is definitely the best card in this box. Uh, when it's in your Pendulum Zone, you can target one other spell and trap on the field. And you destroy a Centric and the card that you targeted. So basically like a... A boneless mystical space typhoon kind of it's a neat effect and then its effect as a monster is you tribute this card then target one monster in the field and you destroy it this, so really, this seems pretty critical to whatever the deck this is gonna build yeah this is oh a really powerful because especially uh because you know you can pendulum summon it back so you can yeah. use it as removal so uh, yeah i really like this card a lot oh my lord yeah and then obviously uh the alternate art for Levinier. It really, looks really, really, really cool. sick. I actually think I like this one yeah. more than the original. Yeah. Yo. Yo, what's up? We got Kamel in the mix now. What's We're up, going Kamel? over the selection box. All right, what's so then up? we got we got Ryza, the Storm Monarch. We didn't have him before. Uh, basically, when he's tribute summoned, you target one card in the field and you put it back to the top of the deck. So pretty strong effect. I don't think there's really any deck that can make like excellent use of it right now. It's, it's a little bit too slow, but yeah. uh, I think it'll, it'll definitely have a place some at some point. You know, kind of like Caius. He, he came into the meta yeah, a little Yeah, the bit. resonators. Yeah, it could be. Interesting. Yeah. And then we have Aether, the evil empowering dragon. This card is insane. Um, so in the pendulum zone, you can banish one empowered warrior from your graveyard, then target one card in the field, destroy it. So empowered warriors are these really like bad cards that they gave us like as like <laughs> drop rewards. Oh, no. So you're not going to be using that effect. You're going to be using the monster effect so when this card is normal or special summoned you can target one monster in the field and you banish it so you can might be thinking to yourself like oh you know that doesn't seem that good but you have to remember that pendulums can keep summoning every yep. single turn so you can like actually keep doing it like every turn so oh it's really really God. powerful all right well so there yeah, you go this selection I think, box i think that's the only new ones right everything else is yeah reprints. everything else is reprints yeah just uh, super heavies meliotis yeah we can talk about these reprints honestly they're kind of bad yeah the cards that are getting reprinted well, the first movement. It even... Oh, it's only if you know control no monsters. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So I think overall the selection box is not too bad, but uh, I think actually no, I'm gonna take that back. I think it's pretty bad. Just the only two good cards are the Aether and the Archfiend Centric. Those yeah. cards are stand out, but the other the reprints are really really bad in my opinion. There you go. Well, there you yeah. go. Well, we'll see if uh, anyone ends up playing them. Once again, with Rai and Kamel, we are going over the structure deck now. So we got. Dragon Pit Magician. So this card in the uh, scale, basically you discard a... Uh, if you have a Magician card in the other Pendulum Zone, you can discard a Pendulum Monster. Then you target one Spell Trap on the field and destroy it. So a pretty decent effect. Um, this this card was really... Um, it was kind of popular when Pendulums first came out in the TCG, but it, it fell off really, really quickly. So I don't really think overall this structure deck is going to be that impactful. But it's an interesting introduction to pendulums because of the scales being scale one and scale eight yeah so allows like many decks to just pendulum summon any levels from two to seven so the other one is the one that goes with it the dragon pulse uh it has a similar effect but instead of popping a spell and trap you pop a monster a face-up monster there so this go. one is a scale one and the other one is a scale eight so that's perfect the, combo the dude there you go yeah exactly so then we have the odd eyes light phoenix in the scale, it uh, when your monster when your opponent monster declares a direct attack, and you have no uh, and you have a card in your other pendulum zone, you can destroy the card in your other zone, and you special summon this card. So it's kind of like a like a pendulum hand trap, but obviously it doesn't work as good because they're gonna see that you have it, you know. So it's this card is kind of uh, it's an interesting card, but I don't really think it's that good. And then on fields as a monster. You can tribute this card, then target one performer pal monster you control. It gains a thousand. So overall, this card is not really that good, but um, it is kind of interesting how you could bring it out, and then also in the same turn you can use its effects to boost a card. So like if you ever get into a situation like that, it would be interesting. But I don't think the card is really that good. And the rest, I think we have, right? Um, no, we don't have the performer pal slight hand. So slight hand is you special summon this card by tributing one perform pal monster. It's kind of like silent magician. Uh, except you can't tribute a pendulum monster, so you have to just do one like the shitty ones, and then uh, discard a card, then destroy a card on the field. Oh, which so, card is it? You said slight hand. Yeah, slight hand. It's the one right next to. Uh, oh, that's what, like oh yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and then the new. So this card is pretty bad, um, in my opinion. You have to go minus one, and then you have to go another minus <laughs> just to destroy a card. So yeah. It's like, yeah. So Dharma Eyes Magician. 
I don't even know what this one does, to be honest. Reveal one pendulum monster in your hand. Target one magician in your pendulum zone. That skill become the same as it revealed. All right, so that's terrible. Uh, next effect. While this pendulum summon card is on the field, magician pendulum monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So that's an interesting effect, but... Uh, it's kind of lackluster as yeah. being a yeah a so it's really it's really monster. just i feel like it's just the urs and then the uh the odd eyes light phoenix right yeah and then the last card is the coin dragon uh target one dragon type monster you control that was special summoned from the extra deck this turn if that monster you control battles an opponent's monster banish that opponent's monster even if this card leaves field so there you go kind of makes all your dragons like the uh the blue eyes twin burst and then on fields other dragon type monster control gain 500 attack also they cannot be destroyed by card effects so. well, there you go so overall thoughts on the structure this is probably like a beginner's yeah this is structure, a right? beginner structure deck and uh, my honest opinion is this structure deck is also very bad so yeah the structure deck is bad and the selection box because we is already bad. we already have like other cards that are like good scales too like the a one to eight scale i don't think that's worth right right yeah so yeah so we'll see we'll see if this uh ends up if, th if this ends up being competitive we'll let you guys know but uh <laughs> i think i think the other stuff that came out is gonna be a little bit more well performing for now yeah yeah all for right. sure well that's gonna be it you guys check out all our other videos we're gonna have a lot of content coming out for arc 5 see you then boys